Hola! This is Mirna with Knitting with Mirna and today's tutorial is how to make the Santa hat. We're going to be following the Cascade Yarns pattern using size 11 needles for my circumference and we're going to make this right in time for the holidays. So thank you, follow along. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the list of materials we're going to need. First, the pattern is the is by Cascade Yarn. Is the Magnum Santa hat. Is the B181. And we're going to need bulky yarn. Super bulky yarn. I'm using this red wine color. It's by Burnout Softy Chunky Yarn. And I'm using the white also in a super bulky weight by Burnout Softy Chunky Yarn. Uh, size 11 needles worked best for me for this hat, although the pattern Ask for a size 15 needles, but it was just getting a little bit too bulky for me, so I went down on the needle size. I'm going to be using size 11. Also double pointed needles, a stitch marker, a yarn um, needle, scissors, a measuring tape, and a pom-pom maker. I'll show you also other ways of making a pom-pom uh, in another video so you can choose what works best for you. All right, so we will begin by casting on, I'm going to do 48 stitches because I'm using a adult large size. So I'm going to cast on 48 stitches of my circular needle with the white yarn. Okay, casting on with a circular needle is exactly the same way as casting on with your straight needles. Okay, so pulled out a tail long enough and let's cast on 48 stitches. I have a description, on the description below I have a tutorial on how to do a long tail cast on if you need to go a little slower or if you need to have a refresher on how to cast on. So let's do 48 stitches. Okay, okay so I have my 48 stitches cast on and the next thing we're going to do is to join in the round. That means that we're going to knit in a circle using your circular needles. Make sure that your stitches are not twisted, that they're all facing in the same direction, like this. You see how they all are facing in the same direction? That's what we want. Also make sure that you are holding your needle with the working yarn and your tail on the right side. Okay, your right hand. We're going to slip a stitch marker because that's going to show us where the row begins. Some people use their tail as a guide, but I like to use a stitch marker. Okay, so now begin knitting like you always do your knit stitch. We're going to knit. This pattern calls for knit two, purl two, for three inches. That's going to be the rib. So this is what we're going to be working on first, this part. Okay, knit two, purl two. I'll have a link for the pattern in the description below if you want to print your pattern or if you want to um, just have a printed copy or you can go to the website. So two, knit two, 
purl two. Also, I'll have a description. In the description below, there is going to be a tutorial for the stockinette stitch and for the rib ribbing. So it's this. Knit two. You see it? It's starting to happen already. So here are your knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. The good thing about knitting with circular needles and working the stockinette stitch is that you're going to be doing the knit stitch only. And because they're joined in the round, that's going to create the stockinette. So you don't have to like do the knit and purl and knit and purl to come up with the stockinette. You're just going to knit all the way around and that's going to be your stockinette. You'll see it when we get there. But for now, we're going to be doing knit two, purl two for three inches. So just follow this pattern. Follow this sequence of knit two, purl two for three inches. So you continue knitting the rib in your knit two, purl two. And when you get to the stitch marker, all you have to do is just slide it over to the right needle. Okay, you're at the beginning. You just slide it over like this to the right needle and continue knitting. Yeah, as simple as that. Some people use this tail as a guide. I like to use my slip markers. Maybe for this project I should have one another color because it really blends in with the knitting. Okay, so we'll continue doing this for three inches. Okay, I am almost at the end of my 2 by 2 rib and I think that I, I have 3 inches now so let me just measure this and yep, I'm exactly at 3 inches so let me finish this row and go to the next step So I'm purling the last two stitches of this row and the next step is, let's see, knit next round. Okay, that's easy enough. So we'll just knit every stitch. Now you don't have to do the knit two, purl two, so wherever you see the purl just knit over it. Okay, and knit all the way around. Yes, I like this. This is a really fast knit. Like with the bulky yarn and the big needles, it goes really fast. And it's very enjoyable because, you know, we like to see results. Other projects might take a little bit longer, but this one, especially for the holidays that are right around the corner, and you probably want to have something festive on or an accessory or something as a gift. Yeah, we don't want to spend, we don't want to spend too much time on it. So here we go. Go all the way around. Okay. 
This is my tail. I gotta do something with it before I. There we go. Hide it. Before I knit with it or something tragic. Oh, what was that? I completed my round in knit stitch I'm at the beginning again and my next step is change to color A so color A is the contrast color and that will be my red okay and because this pattern is written for two different sizes you're gonna have two sets of instructions so it's gonna say knit for three and a half inches if your cast on was 44 stitches but because my cast on was 48 stitches I'm going to be working with a number in the parentheses so I'm going to be knitting in red for four inches okay let us add the new color so remember I have a tutorial for adding a new yarn on your knit so you can go to the description below and take a look so for now what we're gonna do is insert your needle as if to knit slide your new color onto your right needle in a loop leaving a tail long enough that we're gonna cast on later and pull through then you're gonna take these two tails and give it a nice little pull okay and continue knitting and continue knitting your, with your red yarn for four inches Okay, this is looking so pretty. There it is. Okay, I am almost at the end of my first row with the red yarn. And I want to show you that when I slip, I knit this stitch with the um, white yarn it's going to be pretty wide so what you're going to do is pull that yarn close and tighten that stitch then you slide your marker over and you knit into the other stitch with your first stitch with the red yarn and you're going to pull that stitch close together okay so that you don't have those gaps showing at this point you can cut the white yarn that you're working that you were working with the beginning off you're not gonna need this anymore so cut that piece off see you later your white yarn and continue knitting with your red yarn for four inches. I still see a hole here. Well, when you weave in your ends at the end, you'll be able to close that gap. Okay. Kind of manually it's closing itself up, but I don't know how tight it's going to be until you weave in these tails okay so let's keep doing this for four inches <laughs> okay so my hat is now at four inches of the red and i'm going to finish this row and get to my stitch marker and then i'll know what else i'm supposed to do let's see 
Okay, this is knitting up so beautifully. I love it. I'm sliding my stitch marker and okay so we're here we did all the way to here so we knit for four inches and now we're going to start decreasing as follow we're going to knit two together knit until the last two stitches and knit those two together so you're going to knit the first two and the last two together all right, let's see how that's going to look. It's going to look something like this. Knit two together. Okay. Knit two together. Continue knitting. All the way to the end of the row. And there you're going to knit those last two stitches together. Okay, we are almost at the last two stitches of the row. So those two last stitches, we're going to knit them together. Here we are. Two together, knit two together. Slide your marker. And our next step is knit next two rows okay so we're going to knit two rows with no decrease just a regular knit two rows across all right guys we're moving right along with our pattern so we already knit the two rows and now we're going to repeat four more times what we just did. So we're going to repeat knitting, knit two together, the first two stitches together and the last two stitches together and then we're going to knit two rows. So we're going to do the same sequence four times. When you have completed doing those four sequences, you're going to have either 34 stitches or 38 stitches left on your needle, depending on how many needle uh, stitches you cast on. So I should be ending this four uh, row repetition with 38 stitches. Another thing I'm going to do now is that I'm going to transfer my stitches into my double pointed needles because my cord is getting really tight at this point and I don't have space to knit. So this is how I'll do it. I'm going back to knitting two together, the first two stitches together. So you will insert, here's your, here's your circular needle. So you'll take your double pointed needle, insert it into the first two stitches and knit it. Okay, so you bring this. What's going to happen is that you're going to knit with the double pointed needle and leave your circular needle, the right circular needle, just hanging in the back. Don't worry about that. Okay, and this is going to be your new knitting needles. So there's one. Okay. And we just knit around. I'm going to use four double pointed needles to continue knitting in the round. Okay. Uh, Oops, hold on. Better. Okay. And because we're going to be doing 
a decrease at the beginning of the row and the end of the row. This needle is my needle number one is going to be the beginning of my row. So what I'm going to do to remind me or to have a visual that this is my needle number one is that I'm going to put this little stitch marker and it's a little jingle bell Christmas motif right here. I'm just going to pin it into the fabric. Hold on. So here is my little stitch marker and it's a little jingle bell and it actually sounds so this is going to be my reminder for needle number one. I have these stitch markers available in my Etsy store if you're interested. And you can find the link in the description below. Okay, so let's continue knitting. And I'm going to add my second double pointed needle. Again, all you have to do is just bring the yarn around and continue knitting. Okay, don't think that we're doing anything special. Like, oh my gosh, he's knitting with three needles. This is crazy. No, because the other needle, the other end of the double pointed, the, of the uh, circular needle is just serving as a stitch holder pretty much. You're not, you're not knitting with it. You're not touching it. So... You will see how the round looks once I've transferred everything into the double pointed needles. Uh, okay, now I'm going to put another double pointed needle in. Again, insert your needle, leave this here. So see, they just put them down. They're acting as stitch holders. You're not knitting with them. Double pointed needles. So you're just going in to the circular needle and knitting with your double pointed needle. If this is your first time doing this, it might look a little complicated. It takes a little bit of practice. Uh, it's best to do it on a flat surface like this, like on a table, and that way your needles are not like dancing all over the place. This here will be the end of your row, okay? This is where you're going to knit these two stitches together. And because I don't want to forget that this is going to be the end of the row, I'm going to put another stitch marker here. And this time I have a red one. Yay! And they really, can you hear them? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. They really sound putting it right in here. Perfect. Okay, where is my, here it is. So here is my fourth needle. So we knit across, and once you're done with this row, with your decrease row, then you're going to knit two rows. Just knit, no decrease. So at this point you might want to have a row counter if you want to. So we're knitting two together, okay? Or just good old fashioned paper and pen and then you will know, so here is your, we just freed your circular needles. They're gone. Bye-bye. Now 
you're going to knit across just two rows of knit. And I'm going to knit with my fifth double pointed needle. So this is how it looks from the top. Can you see it? There is your circle. We're going to continue knitting in the row, in the round, but this time using double pointed needles because as we go, we're going to have more and more decreases and we're going to have less and less stitches. And then the cord, there is a way of doing like knitting with a cord with less stitches, but I'm not going to teach you that yet. So by using the double pointed needles, you can just move your, your stitches over or move them around as the circle gets smaller and smaller. So now let's knit two rows and then two, knit two together at the beginning of the row and knit two together at the end of the row. Then again you go knit two rows and when you have either 34 stitches in your needle or 38 stitches you know that it's time to stop because here comes a second set of decreases. So I'll see you in a few when I reach my 38 stitches after decreasing four more times. Something that was drawn to my attention from one of my fellow knitters said that she didn't like to use double pointed needles because they're too confusing and she doesn't know when like you leave off your work and you put it down you just don't know like where to pick up again my tip is to use stitch markers and to remember that your working needle and your working yarn is going to be on your right hand side Okay, and that's where you will, and then the next needle is where you're going to continue knitting or starting your row. So here's your working yarn, and that's where you will continue. So if you pick it up, say here, and you go, oh, I don't know where I'm going to knit, your working yarn is all the way back here. So you're not going to make it travel over this way that wouldn't make sense and it wouldn't work I don't think without leaving a gap so find your working yarn and that's where you know you're going to continue okay so let's do another knitted row like this so here is your yarn you bring it over And bring this out. So this needle has got to be out of the way. Completely out of the way. It's back there. Back, back, back. And we'll keep knitting. Just knitting in a circle. You still have a couple more decreases to go. I'm going to move these stitches up this way so the tip of that needle is not touching over a needle. Okay, so we'll just continue knitting and making the same decrease. Knit two together at the beginning of the row, continue knitting, knit two together at the end of the row. Then knit two rows and repeat that sequence four times until you have, what is the number, what's the magic number? 34 stitches if you cast on the smaller size or 38 stitches if you cast on the larger size. Okay. 
Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So excited. So I've completed all my decrease, my decreasing. Can you see how the construction of the hat is showing? It's kind of a slanted decrease. So we have one more decrease to go. So let's see. So we did this, done. Now we're going to knit two together again and knit until the last two stitches knit two together but this time we're only going to knit one row in between decreases okay so knit two together knit until the last two stitches knit two together knit one entire row then go back knit two together knit until the last two stitches, knit two together, and you're going to do that until four stitches are left on needle. Okay, let's work that. All right, all right, all right. So we are going to do knit two together again. The only difference is that we're going to knit one row in between decreases instead of two. So let's knit the first decrease together. So we're going around just knitting all the stitches in these needles except for the last needle that we're going to knit two stitches together. I love this color. There's something about white and red. The contrast is beautiful. I can see myself making this hat like in a different pattern, like pink and white or black and white or green and white. Okay, and again to the end of the row. So now I'm going to knit two together. Uh, it's tight. Knit two together. And now starting the beginning of the row again, I'm just going to knit around. Let's see. So let's just knit around just one time one row of knit and then the next row is going to be knit the first two stitches knit around when you get to the last two stitches you're going to knit those two together and you're going to continue this sequence until you have four stitches left and your needles. So that is to create this decrease that's going to create, it's going to allow the hat to hang. Okay? So let's continue doing that. Okay, we're at the point where the needles that we've been uh, decreasing our stitches from have three stitches on each needle. So now we're going to knit two stitches together, right, at the beginning of the row, and two stitches together at the end of the row. What I'm going to do is slide this one stitch onto this needle so that I can free this needle, because then I'm not going to be working with a needle with just one stitch in there. Because I might just lose it. So watch. So here goes. Knit two together. This is the beginning of the row. Uh, okay, hold on. That didn't come out right. Here we go. Because I have this needle with such a tiny amount of stitches that I think it's best for me just to put this stitch in here. 
right? Good. Then I let go of this needle. I don't need it anymore because the circle is getting smaller, so you don't need all these needles anymore. Now we're going to knit across. Just knit across. And when you get to the last two stitches, we knit them together and we can also free that needle. And we only will be working with two needles at this point because the circle is getting so small. So what do you think of this project so far? It's very festive. I really like it. Well, I like most things that I knit. Let me get my yarn out. And turn this around. We're still knitting across because I haven't gotten to the point where I'm going to decrease. Ugh, there's noise outside. Sorry. Welcome to my world. There's never a quiet time, but knitting kind of quiets down my brain. So that's all right. I tune out all those sounds and noises. I only hear them when I'm recording. All right, so I'm going to knit these two stitches together. So let me just knit this one in here. I'm using not my empty needle to knit, but I'm going to knit with this one. Okay, so I'm going to knit here one stitch and then uh, 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 tight I've been holding on to tension two stitches together okay now this point is up to you if you want to keep the stitch marker on because you only have two needles so uh, it's up to you I like them I'm gonna keep them so now the next row is going to be knit just one row of knit and then we'll come back and we'll knit two together two together knit around two together two together and when you have four stitches left it's going to look like two stitches on each needle two and two then i'm going to show you what's the next step but can you see the decrease it's like slanted see so it's happening so with all the um oh, i'm out of focus Okay, so it's happening. So when you fold it over, so when we continue decreasing, it's going to go like this. It's going to end in like a point, and that's where we're going to attach our pom-pom. Okay, I'll come back when we have four stitches left, two on each needle. Okay, my love, I am at the end of my decrease. I have two stitches on each needle, a total of four stitches. So it is time to cut yarn, pull through last four stitches, and knot. Yes. Okay, so I am going to cut my yarn at about this much length, about 10 inches. I'm going to thread my yarn needle. Uh, can I do it and want to try? I never can. <laughs> Come on, Mirna. You can do this. Yes, I did. Okay. And now I'm going to take the needle and thread and thread them through my stitches like this like this like this and when you pull you automatically create a knot so 
what I like to do is bring the yarn and needle back into the knitting. Okay, I'm going to fish it out at this end. Let's see, where are you? This is a long, super cute hat. Oh, maybe if I turn it inside out, you can see it better. Where are you, needle? Come back. Oh, here you are. And out. Okay. And then I'll make a little knot in here and secure it. Nice. Nice and tight. And I'll cut this end. Then all we have left is the pom-pom. And I'll show you how I make a pom-pom with bulky yarn. By only using my hands. Okay. I really like this. What do you think? I really enjoy this knitting. You can make one for everyone in your family. Take pictures. Send me one. I want to see. Okay, I'll be back with Pom Pom. Okay, we are at the very end of our Santa hat. Here is our Pom Pom. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on... Uh, explaining how to make a pom-pom because I have a tutorial in the description below. So we're going to concentrate on attaching the pom-pom to the hat. Because this hat is so long, I'm going to roll it up to get to the tip of the hat, closer to the tip of the hat, so I can put my hand through. Yeah, this is good. And what I'm going to do is get a crochet hook and put it to the tip of the hat like this. See? Then I'm going to take the pom-pom by both strands and kind of wrap it around the hook because I want to bring those two strands through to the back like this. Can you see that? Yes. Of the hat. Pull both strands together and as close to the tip as you can, just tie a knot to secure the pom-pom. I'm just going to make a regular double knot. Because you still want the pom-pom to have a lot of movement, you know? So you don't want it to be just like stiff standing there. There you go. And, did it work? It worked. And at the first try, yay, yay us. Here's your pom-pom hat. Here's your Santa hat. And we have ends to weave in, but I'm going to leave that up to you. We have a tutorial on weaving in ends in the description below. So just weave in your ends. You don't have that many. You just have the one for the cast on and the one where you join the red yarn. And that's it. The one at the tip of the hat where we attach the pom pom and where we close the hat. Really, I don't think it makes a difference if you weave in that end or not. It's okay. It's pretty secure. So, well, thank you. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Click like. Leave a comment. If you make a Santa hat, I would love to see it in any variation. And if you like to get uh, notifications on further videos and tutorials, please click the bell. Happy holidays. See you soon. 
Bye-bye.